Do you want to copy character or paragraph formatting from one place in a document to another? The fastest way is to use the Format Painter, but it behaves differently based on what you first select. This quick tip shows you all the ins and outs of using this powerful tool. The Format Painter is a powerful tool that comes in very handy as you format your document. The tool is located on the Home tab of the ribbon, right up here in the Clipboard group. To use the Format Painter, start by selecting either text or place the insertion pointer in a paragraph that is already formatted the way that you want. For instance, if I want to copy the paragraph formatting from this particular paragraph, all I had to do is click within that paragraph. Now I can go up and select the Format Painter. I click on it just once, and then I go and select or click within the paragraph that I want that format copied to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press Control Z and undo that format painting that I did just a moment ago. And I want you to take a look at exactly what we did. I clicked once within this paragraph, then I went up to the Format Painter. And if I wanted to, I could double click on the Format Painter up here. And if I did, that would lock it into the On position so I can copy formatting to multiple places within my document. But if I just want to make it go to one particular place, all I have to do is click on it once. And now, notice that the insertion point now has a paintbrush right next to it. That means that I can paint this format to some other place within my document. And all I had to do is go down and click once in the target paragraph, and the paragraph formatting was painted down to that paragraph. Again, I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z to undo that change. If I only wanted to paint some characters within the document instead of an entire paragraph, then all I have to do is go ahead and select the characters that represent the format that I want to paint, and then I go ahead and I click on the Format Painter again. Now I want you to notice that in the text that I have selected over here, that there is a mixture of formats. The word professionally is bold and italic. The word produced has no such formatting on it. When you're painting just character formatting, it's important to note what the very first character in that selection is formatted like because that's the format that's going to be painted. So if I go down here and I select a whole bunch of text in here, watch what happens when I release the mouse button. Notice that the entire selection is bold and italic because that was the formatting of the first character in the selection that I made before clicking on the Format Painter tool. I'm gonna go ahead and press Control Z again to undo that formatting. But I want you to also notice that if I select all of this text right up here, and then I double click on the Format Painter tool, it's now locked on. So what that means is, is that I can take this, and I painted the format. Notice that that paintbrush is still next to the insertion point. So if I select something else, it's there. I can select something else, it's there as well. I've locked on the Format Painter so I can apply that format in multiple places throughout my document. When I'm done painting the different formats, all I have to do is either go back up and click on the Format Painter tool again, which will turn it off, or I can press the Escape key, and that turns it off as well. If you found this quick tip helpful, be sure to click the subscribe button and then the bell icon. That way YouTube will keep you informed when I add any more videos to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.